Howdy y'all, I'm Todd here at Schechter Guitars. Thanks for joining us for another Tech Tips. Today we're going to go over potentiometers. Primarily if you ever have a potentiometer where it feels real grungy when you rotate it around, if you get static in your noise as you try to adjust your tone or volume pots, there are things you can do to fix that. It's not necessarily a sign of a bad pot. All pots do need some maintenance. They are what you would call a limited lifespan component. If you get sweat, dirt, grime in there, they can cause oxidation on the insides, which can interfere with electrical current and give you all sorts of uh, bad issues. However, they're relatively easily dealt with and best of all, you can do it pretty cheaply with just the right substances, which we'll go over. But first, let me go over how a pot works, show, show you the insides, and we'll break down exactly what we're dealing with. So, a potentiometer is a resistance track connected to the two outside pins. The middle pin is electrically connected to this uh, wiper which rotates along the span of the resistance track. At one end, it's fully closed. The current is facing maximum resistance. As you rotate along the span, the resistance facing the current decreases until it's all the way connected electrically with the middle pin. In this instance, say I, I soldered the uh, third lug to the back of the volume chassis just to create a volume pot. In this position, the volume would be totally shut out. Turning it up, volume would be fully on. You can get grunge, you can get static, you can get all sorts of weird little demons in your signal. If the resistance track gets contaminants or debris, if you get corrosion along the conductive metallic wiper, those can all create a laundry list of issues. Usually you'll feel grunginess in the sweep. If you don't feel grunginess, you'll hear static in the output. Deoxit is the, the item I use. Deoxit D5 is an industry standard. It's used very commonly. It provides multiple functions. It flushes debris from the insides of your pots. It removes corrosion from the conductive components. And it also seals all the doohickeys, all the works, keeps it in more pristine condition for a longer period of time. Uh, if you have scratchy pots, a lot of times a quick blast with deoxid will save you the heartache of having to do some surgery and pull out the old pot and toss a new one in. Saves a little bit of cash too, which is always nice. It's a common thing you may have to deal with if you have a large guitar collection. I recommend to anyone who owns guitars, likes working on them, to keep some deoxid handy. You can buy the deoxid D5 in a spray. You could also buy it in a uh, liquid form, which I then bottle it with a fine tip needle nose applicator if I really want to pinpoint the application. But the spray for the hobbyist is a, a no-brainer purchase. It's a good idea to have some on, uh, on hand. And I'll show you how to use it. So let's say this pot was encountering a, some issues, static in the output as it was uh, utilized, things of that sort. It's really simple to tackle. Obviously, inside a guitar it can be a bit tougher to maneuver, but the same theories that I'm about to uh, go through hold in that instance. What you want to do is locate the little window in your pot. That's always an ideal area in which to apply the deoxids. Just maneuver the window facing you and give it a quick spray. You don't need a lot and then make sure you give it several good turns just to make sure you coat the resistance track, coat the wiper with the deoxids. If there's been any debris that had gathered inside the pot, that also pushes it out to clear all the works to make sure that you have a fully functioning component. So just work it in, and really that's all there is to it. You'll want to take some paper towels, clean up you know, your area, make sure you wipe off any excess around the pot, or if you're doing it inside the guitar around the control cavity. It's usually not going to cause any heartaches, but it's always nice to keep your guitars clean if you can. And then that will bring this pot back to life. I, one caveat, 
this will work at repairing a pot that is suffering from corrosion, some, from some debris. However, sometimes uh, defective pots, an actual mechanical something or other inside can cause these issues, but it would not necessarily be reparable with deoxys. 90% of the time, this stuff will work if your potentiometer is experiencing the symptoms I've discussed. However, things that are much more serious, if the shaft pulls out of your pots, of course, spraying with deoxid is not going to fix it. So in that case, you need to get a brand new pot. Replacing pots is something you really don't have to do very frequently, and regular applications with deoxid, whenever you do encounter these woes, will help keep it to where you are not having to swap your pots out of your guitars willy-nilly and the less swapping you're doing of pots the more playing you can do and at the end of the day that's what we want to do so uh yeah thank you for joining us if you have any questions feel free to comment on this video send us an email and we'd be more than happy to chat with you until next time i'm todd thank you guys for joining us have a good one